James 3.10 Ek tu au tu stamatas ex erketai eulagia kai katara u kre adelphoi mu tauta hutos genesthai. Translation Blessing and cursing come out of the same mouth. These things to happen so ought not to be, my brothers. Okay, several interesting things we can look at here. First off, let's look at this prepositional phrase, ek tu autu stamatas, from the same mouth. Now, in elementary Greek, you learn that autas means he. But autas used in the attributive position, the place you would expect an attributive adjective, means same, right? From the from the same mouth. It's a word that does many different jobs. If you look down here on the bottom right, if we expected it to function like a personal pronoun, we would expect it to be probably in this position after after the noun there. Ectastamatas autu would be from his mouth, right? From his mouth. And then if we had autu tu stamatas like this, the last line down here on the bottom right, that would be the mouth itself. Right, the mouth itself. So we have different ways that altas can function. Let's note that we have here a compound subject, blessing and cursing, that takes a singular verb that's called a Pindaric construction after the Greek poet Pindar, who used compound subjects with singular verbs a lot. Um, that's different from the animal's run rule where you have a neuter plural subject with the singular verb. Down here at the end of the verse, let's note that we have this infinitive, genesthai, to become, to happen, and it takes an accusative subject, right? That tauta is an accusative subject of the infinitive. These things to happen so, these things to happen thusly, and all of that together, that infinitive, is the subject of this impersonal verb, kre. Kre is very similar to day. Day means it is necessary. Kre means it is necessary, or it ought and so, ukre, it ought not. And the it here is the, these things to happen thusly ought not to be, my brothers.